In this video, we are going to see the breadth first traversal of a graph. Let us take an example of this graph. Here, the logic is this algorithm traverses a graph in a breadthward motion, breadthwise. First this, then all these nodes in the level 1 and then level 2, finally this. So here yeah, it uses a queue. In order to do that, it uses a queue to remember to get the vertex to start a search when it didn't occur. So let us see how it can be executed. First, it will visit yes. So once it is visited, we put that printed and then later A. See here we have printed that, then B and then C. And then coming back D, E, F, and then finally G. In order to do that uh, traversal, we use queues. So the rules for doing the so is visit the adjacent, unvisited, like B or DFS. Here also you have to push the unvisited adjacent vertex into Q and then DQ it and then display it. So mark it as visited, display it, insert it in a queue. If no adjacent vertex is found, remove the first vertex from the queue. Now you have to repeat the rule 1 and rule 2 accordingly until the queue is empty. Now we will see how to do it in a DFS. Let us consider this graph. So we are going to, according to our algorithm, we have to do a breadthwise search. So first we visit this and then we print this value. That is yes. Okay, that is the root node or uh, the first vertex, source vertex. And then the adjacent vertex of them are pushed into the queue. So first A, that will be uh, push the front and then B, it will be push the rear. So initially the front is pointing this and then rear also will point this. Then after pushing rear will be pointing this and then C. Now C is pushed. Now rear is pointing this. So here the front is uh, pointing A and rear is pointing the C. And then now what you do is you end DQ. So DQ will be done from the front. So now it will be written. After DQ it will be marked as visitor and then this will be printed. Now we move this. So now it becomes the front is pointing B. Now uh, we check whether there is any adjacent node. After printing the we see whether any adjacent nodes of A is there. Yes, here D is there. So we just yeah, add it to the queue at the end of the queue. So now after doing so, your rear is here. The rear will point this. Okay. Now, uh, after okay it's done the adjacent node of this is yes cannot be printed because it is already visited so yes yes is also an adjacent node of a but it cannot be printed as it is already visited only d is not visited so it is added to the end of the queue now the next element so there is no other no further node so now we remove the uh, front of the queue which is nothing but our d remove it and print and checks whether any adjacent node for this S is there, but it is already visited and printed. And D is there, and it is already visited, but uh, it has been entered into the queue. So that will not be pushed, uh, 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 enqueued into the queue. Now, the next element, since we have already removed this, now the front is pointing to the C after we enqueue that. So now the front is this. Okay, now C. Now we uh, DQ the C and print it. And then we check the adjacency node of C. Here, S is the adjacency node and D. S is already printed. D also already is entered into the queue. So again, it will not be pushed into the, uh, that is uh, entered into the queue. So now uh, we have returned C and we don't find any adjacency. Already adjacency node has been entered into the queue. So what happens now um, the front uh, since we have removed this the front and Q rear will be the pointing to D. Now what happens we just uh, remove this D also 
now we remove this uh, D and then we print it. Since there is no adjacency node, because these are all adjacency nodes of D, A is adjacency node, B is adjacency node, and C. But all of them are visited and already they are uh, printed. So that also that will not be entered. Now after removal, the um, Q is empty. All these values are removed. For removal, I have made it as a uh, into mark. So all these values are removed and the queue is empty now. Now we will see another example. So this is how, this is the breadth first search of this, uh, breadth first search of this graph. Now we will see another example here. Initially the front is pointing this, uh, front is, uh, rear is also pointing this to mark. Now first we end, we start from our A, okay. So now we enter the, we print the value of A. Then we uh, find the, this is a directed graph. What we have seen in the previous is undirected graph and this is a directed graph. So A, its adjacent node is D and B. Even if F is adjacent, but there is, it is an integree. There is a node is, edge is arising from F to A. So that should not be considered in a directed graph. You have to consider only the out degree nodes. So here, a is uh, here, so B is the adjacent and D is the adjacent. So that we enter into the queue. Let us enter B and then what's it? D. So after this, where rear is pointing this and front is pointing this. Now, so A is printed. Now what we do is the next, uh, only these two are the adjacent node. Now we uh, remove this uh, element that is uh, DQ and we keep it here. Okay, we print it. Now front is pointing this and rear is also pointing that. Then we find the adjacent node of B. What is the adjacent node of B? It is C and F. C and F. So we put C here. It is C and then F. So, F also is entered into the cube. Now, oh, rear is pointing here. This. Now, what we do is, now we remove from uh, front. So, and we add it, print it. Now, front is pointing this. Okay. So, now D is printed. Then, we check the D adjacency node. D adjacency node is only F. Because here, even if A, is that it is not an adjacent because there is no path from D to there is no edge from D to A only A to D is there so only node is F so it is already entered into the Q so no need to enter again so since it is uh, it has been uh, entered into the Q we don't uh, uh, enter Q into the Q again okay now that C we DQ C and print now C's adjacency nodes are E and G. So we do E, enter the E, so we enter E and then uh, E and G. So G is also entered. Now if you see that rear is here and front is here. Now F is uh, taken and it is printed. Now we check the adjacency node of F. If you see adjacency node of F, uh, only A is there. All the others are in degrees. So already A has been printed, visited. So that will not, uh, no adjacency nodes for that. Already, the adjacency node is already printed, visited. So let us leave it. Now uh, we move the front here. Now this E is off. Uh, NQ and then no, front is pointed by here. E. Now we check the E um, how degree element that is adjacency. Here B and F for the adjacency node where B already visited and F is also already visited and printed. So now you can you don't enter anything into now G NQ uh, DQG and then printed. Now here both front and rear are same. 
a gs uh, gs adjacency nodes are e uh, where e already we have visited so it's printed so that's all so now if you see this uh, output a b and then d c f e g this is the output this is a dfs uh, sorry breakfast search of this algorithm 